Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to your extended. I'm going to be doing the second part of this reading which is like spirit intervention, giving their you know tips and tricks and everything they want to really clarify and go more into about these energies and everything you're feeling on the inside, on the outside and what they're trying to lead you to, okay? So I really like doing the second readings. I think they're really great. They offer so much more insight on the energies that are surrounding you and that's why I do them. All right, so before I start, I want to thank all my beautiful patrons. I have Marilyn, JYDR, I have Say Kid, Angel Marie, Teresa, David, Dana, Maria, Tom, Kimmy, Ciara, Sarah, and Amber, and I would like to thank you so much for being part of my Patreon page. I look forward to seeing all your comments. I know some of you don't comment as much and you just support, and I thank you so much. You're fantastic. Now, of course, if anybody wants to join, it is in the description box below, and of course, my levels are 369. Their donation levels, 369. You got to invite greatness in whenever you can. All right. So this morning we were talking about choosing your path. Still on the cusp of just about taking off. Uh, if you haven't seen this card this morning, I showed in depth this beautiful death card. I love it in this deck. It's one of my favorites. I think this pretty much shows what what's going on in the world and in your life right now, Pisces, okay? This death card, there are some that are just like, they're stuck in the darkness. There are some that are like looking at the light or guiding you towards the light. Actually, one of these looks like an angel. So you're being helped out into the light. There's, and I just noticed that there's other, like there's other stuff here, okay? This may be you, but there may be other people just in the background who've already stepped into their light. So, um, yeah, things are changing. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to get this wire out of the frame just so that it's aesthetically better. Of course, doesn't want to, does not want to do what I want it. So, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so ascending the mountain, keep going forward. So Spirit wants you to know that even though in these weeks of preparation you may be feeling like you're ascending a little bit of a mountain because of course there's all this promise that's been going on about let's go forward, let's go, we're going forward, you know, big changes, things are happening and now here you are weeks in and you're still like kind of eh, in preparation. They're telling you that you're just... This is still part of the journey, and I keep saying that right from the beginning. Even when you're not actually, even if you're preparing for a trip and you feel like you're stagnant and not moving, you are still in preparation of doing something. And that is because there's stuff that needs to be taken care of, okay? You need to clean house, you need to clean the room, you need to clear the air, you need to do what you need to do. And that's just the way it is, Pisces. Okay, life has a way, and if, if you do it now, if you get rid of all the little nitty-gritty stuff that needs to be taken care of, you will, um, you will be grateful as you go along for having done that. I'm going to read Ascending the Mountain. The journey might be hard right now, but a great view awaits you, and... You know that. You've seen it in this morning's card, okay? See? You're looking at the view. And you're looking at the view, okay? You may be only at the beginning, but you're at the view, okay? You most certainly can achieve your goal. However, you must continue forward through hard work and diligence. Diligence, right. Do not give up. Even if it seems hard, keep going forward. Even if sometimes it seems that you're going up three steps and falling back too, you're still getting closer to your goal. Sometimes you may need to take smaller steps, but don't stop. Every step takes you closer to the peak of the mountain. And when you arrive, the view will be spectacular. It will be worth all your hard effort. It's okay to stumble or fall. Just don't stay down. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even your own limiting beliefs or fears. Go beyond boundaries and self-imposed barriers. Live passionately and courageously. Keep moving forward fearlessly. Speak up for yourself. 
Honor your truth. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. You are a light bearer for others. Right. Okay, remember that too. When you do these things, you are also setting an example for anybody who is watching. Okay, on how to do it right. Don't run away from your life. Um, clear what needs to be cleared and then step into a new one. This is really what I feel that's all of this is saying. Okay, so this is called Dancing in a Dark Tarot. So I decided to take this deck. Alright, so what I usually do is I just pick up all the cards and then we uh, go one by one with Spirit. So the first top row is the energy surrounding you. Okay, that's, that's like what's around you, what you can see. It's, I always feel like this is your day of work. You know, you wake up and all of these energies, that's, you know, the that's you, that's the bus that stops in front of you, the people in the bus, this is all your energy, okay? This second row is what's inside you, the stuff you may be feeling but not really admitting, and the last three cards are what Spirit wants you to know, and, you know, the last card is kind of like, you know, take a look at this. All right, so... Underneath the deck, the Two of Wands felt very much choosing your path. Same thing, okay? Usually you have him holding a, a globe in his hand, but pretty much the same, okay? And, yeah. It's kind of funny because in this case, it's like he's he's got a wand in his hand, but it's almost like he's holding a coin, too. Look at that. Isn't that remarkable? The other one is right back here, too, but he's holding like a coin, just like the, the Ace the uh, Pentacles. Interesting. Okay, so the first card was the Eight of Wands. Raring to go, ready to go. I love this card. It's so pretty. All these horses wanting to go. Da, 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 let's go. Uh, but, you know, yeah, no, not yet. Okay, you're still putting your ducks in a row. You're still getting things ready. Spirit wants you to know... Mm, stay strong. You've got the eight, which is uh, the strength card. You've got the infinity. Okay. Um, it's not a race, it's a journey, is what I'm getting. Um, just have trust in yourself that everything that you're doing, that this drive that you're, that you're uh, feeding inside of yourself and all of these things that you're doing, you're increasing your personal power. Okay. And you're finding more balance. And you're trusting logic. And you're finding the balance between your impulses and your logic. Because this is very much impulsive sometimes. You just want to move. It's very much close to the, I feel like the um, the Knight of Swords. You know, like, let's go. Let's go raring. Let's put everything and let's, you know, hold on and let's go. But you're feeling like that energy is kind of like going away because you're dealing with stuff. You're being told to kind of wait, stop, there may be delays, whatever it is, it's it's not quite the time yet, but it's nearing, okay? So they're saying just um, embrace the feeling, okay? Embrace the energy that's coming in. You have the Knight of Wands. Again, you're ready for the challenge, you're looking for the challenge, but it feels like it's less of a challenge and it's... Right now, it's more of the fact that you have to deal with something, okay? Right. Because you're raring to go. You're raring to go. You want to put things in motion. They understand. But these are long-term plans. And they really want you to have stuff organized and ready before you take off. They want you to deal with everything that's behind you, everything that's in front of you. And it's not because you... Um, you need to know how everything's going to turn out because that's impossible. There's no guarantees, but it doesn't hurt to plan things out, especially if you can do it ahead of time. Okay, so I, I like that. It's like saying, uh, well, my, my uh, accountant heart loves it. If you can fix something, do you go ahead and do it before you take off. Um, don't skirt the issues, don't ignore stuff because it doesn't feel good. Get it done now and then move forward. Okay, fix the things you can, 
because there's a lot that's gonna that could show up in your life and you won't be prepared for it um, so if you have the experience and the knowledge of something don't ignore it fix it now okay so it's more of that type of thing all right so the four of wands love that that's all preparations right the four of wands always about a steady table a steady foundation This is 14, yeah it is. This is a temperance card and it came in reverse. <laughs> patience. <laughs> this is a patience card, okay? It's finding balance, it's patience. Do it in moderation. Even though it doesn't feel like you want to, even though right now you just want to go, it feels like everything is working against you, it's really not. Remember this card right here, right? Yes, not yet. I have something better in mind. So it's regardless of whether you think it's better or not spirit thinks it's better okay and so does source source is telling you these are important moments regardless of if you think so or not they are important moments for you to be experiencing right now so have patience you're right on the cusp oh my favorite card I know I keep saying it but uh, you know when you discover a card that you go oh my god and look at that that came out. The Ace of, of of Cups. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. This is like a renewable energy, a fresh start. This is so exciting. This is the kind of card that tells you like, this is a fresh start. This is something coming in. It's love. It's a, the birth of something new. It's your heart taking flight. It's falling in love, falling in love with life, falling in love with another person, falling in love with spirit, falling in love with the journey that you finally understand that you're going on, that it's another pathway. It's a journey. Like I said, a lot of this has to do with the awareness that came in when you started this new cycle. If you're here and you finally have started uh, jotting down the path and the journey for yourself in this cycle, you have a lot more awareness uh, than you've ever had before. So it's really tuning into yourself and knowing, knowing that there's people behind, knowing that you were once here sitting in the dark in the fear, knowing that you were once looking through this tunnel at the light and now you're just about to step into it. It is something so remarkably wonderful. And Spirit is saying, it is. It will be. It is. It's worth the wait. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Two most important right now that I feel in this reading. The anticipation of love, of happiness, of everything that you wanted. Okay? And I'm not talking about money. Not just money. And not just... This is... Um, it, it goes more profound than that. It will fulfill you deep down inside of you. Okay? In this cycle, it will take care of what you want. Okay, regardless of where you go or what next cycle brings in, you will remember this one. And that's the nice part. I like that. Okay, so it, at the heart of you, you have the page of one, that new, that impulsive, young idea, that wonderful feeling of just wanting to be and do. I feel like there was a card that was flipped over. Nope, it was just a... It was just a card from the deck. Okay, so. All right. So, here you have. What is this? This is the two? The two of pentacles? The two of pentacles. Oh no, that's 11. Okay. So, that is the page of pentacles. Ooh. Yeah. Shirtless guy. Okay with that. All right. So, you have good news. Um, this is solid beginnings. You have the page and the page. So this is brand new stuff. Stuff that you're looking forward to. Learning new skills. Brand new beautiful life. That's just kind of, you know, developing in front of your eyes. Everything is just kind of coming together. And you feel that inside. I feel this is anticipation. This is like, I know it's not a cups, but it's like new love. It's like everything kind of balancing out inside of you. 
And even though you may have some stuff that you're still dealing with, I feel that inside of you, you're feeling there's a roundness and a completedness that is coming in. I love sitting in your energy these days, Pisces. I love doing readings for you these days because I feel that a lot of things have just kind of settled in where they're supposed to. There's a lot of flow and good light bearing flow like the sun is shining and it feels good even when the sun isn't shining outside I feel like the sun is shining inside of you and that is so important you have the king of wands the king of wands is at the heart of you the one ready to take the reins okay the more days go by I feel the more you feel yeah I'm ready I'm ready to lead my life and there we go. So you have the Four of Wands, but it's in reverse. So again, where was it? Was it here somewhere? Yeah, it was at the top. Um, you're looking at where you want to go, but you're ready, okay, with this Four of Wands. You're ready, but you're still not. Inside of you, you feel like you're ready, but you're feeling that Four of Wands that you're still reflecting where you want to go. Okay, you want to get out of that though, because the four upright is reflecting. You want to get out of that energy and into that energy. That's what you're feeling inside. That's really what you're feeling inside. Okay, because this this card in the upright is like, oh, it's great, it's accomplishment, it's result, but it's not the end mark. You want to get to the end mark. You want to get to the king of wands. You want to get things moving. That's really what you're feeling deep inside of you. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, so I don't, I'm not taking two cards at a time. One. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. This I told you this morning. The Wheel of Fortune, the reason that you're being stopped, and I, I, I felt that again, is that I feel that you have more choices than you know. I feel that spirit is trying to help you decide or make you see that there's more on the plate than you previously thought. Okay? They're trying to spin the wheel in a way that to make you see that I don't know how can I put this so that they understand that. Um Let's say you're moving from one city to another and you think that there's only one apartment available, but because of this wait, this period, something's happening and more apartments will become available. Ones with better views, one with more room, one with what something that you need in it, something that's fully furnished. You know, it's that kind of thing. And I don't know, maybe because... <sighs> I don't know, you were afraid of heights, but you got rid of your fear of heights and now you want you can live in that higher floor apartment. Something like that. Okay, so there's something here. There's more choices that are gonna become available that you're gonna want to grab onto that you wouldn't have before. So that's the best way I can put it. It's um but it can be for anything. That's just an example of what I'm trying to convey in the emotion. So um, what is spirit trying to help you see? The moon. The moon is, um, not the illusion. It is the illusion, but they want you to see the perspective of both things. Okay, yeah, right. You've got the six of pentacles. So they want you to balance out this anticipation with what you have left to deal with here. Okay, um, we've been talking about that since yesterday, since the full moon reading. There is... Um, something that you need to clean up, deal with, you need to finish, um, you need to shine the light in all the corners of the room that you're leaving, that you're cleaning. Um, it, it's not a fact, it's, I don't feel, like I, I keep saying I don't feel that it's a huge thing, um, I just feel that it's a, an important thing, let's just put it that way. It's important for you to do this work now. And we'll leave it at that. Because it's going to bring you balance in the future. Okay? It's going to bring you blessings. Okay? By by giving and taking to the situation and dealing with it, it will bring back um, prosperity and assistance to you. And 
and balance in the future. That's all I can say about it, but that's so important. What else? You had the tower, and that one came in upside down. It doesn't really matter. The tower has been coming in, and it's explaining to you. Bring it down, or it will come down around you. It, either or, it's happening. So be aware of it. I, 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 all I hear is pay me now or pay me later. So it's do it now. If you have a chance to fix something now, please do it now. Right. Okay. The devil card coming in, telling you, do it now. Okay. Don't trick yourself into thinking that you can get away with something by not dealing with it. This is the thing. Okay. If you feel a restriction, and if there's some kind of thing that you have a cycle of guilt or frustration or whatever that you're not, um, this is a card of not all appears as it's supposed to be. And so it's telling you, don't fool yourself into thinking that you can cheat yourself out of something by just running away. Okay? Very important. This message is coming in loud and clear for some of you. Some of you, this may not apply. I feel like the Spirit is saying some of you have already dealt with this, and this is good. Um, you'll know it. You'll know it. How do you know it? Okay, uh, I'm being told you're going to have a little nagging feeling. Everything will be perfect except for this little nagging feeling. And if you're Pisces, and if you've had these nagging feelings such as I have, you'll know what it is. You'll be walking around going, what the hell is this? What is this nagging feeling? There's something you haven't dealt with. Look around. Make sure you've done everything. Okay? And the last card is the Five of Cups. Right. Make sure that you see the two cups behind you, the three cups in front of you. Be completely aware of the situation. The good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Make sure that you, you are wide awake and aware. Okay? There's, I, as I tell you, a failure is not a failure. It's, an ex, and it's a chance for wisdom and it's a learning experience. Right? So, don't be so... It's been a long... For, I feel like some of you, it feels like it's been a long, hard rope. Okay, with this Nine of Wands. You feel like, oh, you know, I'm so determined. And then I feel like everything stopped. And it, it's why is this taking so long? And you're almost there. Don't give up. You're almost there. Okay, you're almost there. You're, you know, you've, you've planted these eight. You have one left. Don't give up, Pisces. You're just at the edge of it. Okay? Don't let this little thing, and it's not a little thing for some of you, it feels like a great big thing is what I'm hearing, but don't let this one thing stop you. Okay? Don't let it restrain you from going forward. Right? Look, you're planting a seed. This is what you're not seeing, is that you're planting the seed to help you grow. Okay? You're looking at the big picture. And by looking at the picture, you're planting a seed that's going to pay off in the end. As you go forward, that seed's going to grow. And it's going to grow into something very, very prosperous. The Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? You're going to have growth in your queen, in your king. You're going to have a lot coming in for you. It's just that every journey begins with one, okay? Every journey begins with one step forward. You've just got to... Keep doing it, okay? Keep going forward. Okay, don't give up. Keep going forward. All right, Pisces, this has been your extended. I hope you got a lot out of it. I did. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings, and I will see you for tomorrow's reading. Take care.